Hey, this is Chip Desard. I wanted to talk to you about iOS 7. Uh, seven of my uh, favorite features so far. So I wanted to get right into it. So of course, I'm a big camera guy. So I love the new camera app. So when you look at it, actually, let's just turn it back on me real quick. And you'll see down here, you'll see the video, the swipe. And then you'll see photo. You'll see if I want to take an Instagram picture right here of myself. Or if I want to take a panoramic picture of myself just walking around the room, it's right there. And then, of course, auto flash on. And then, of course, you can do so many cool filters right built into iOS 7. So I really like the camera app. Now, one thing, another thing I do like is the way you can. Uh, number two is before you had to go this way and swipe in order to get the search now you just pull down from the app just anywhere on the screen I was trying to do that but that's something else but right there and I like searching searching is so easy so if I want to type maps I can type maps see Google Maps notes and things that I've written for maps so I got Google Maps and Apple Maps installed number three I like the control center if I swipe from the bottom, you'll see that right now I'm sharing my screen. I can do volume. I can control my music. I can put the phone in airplane mode real quick. Or I can see my Wi-Fi connection right here, Bluetooth, put it to sleep, lock rotation, all of the things. Now, I know flashlight, timer, and all this stuff Android has had before. But you know what? I'm just glad Apple is finally uh, caught up with this. So I really like the... Uh, control center if you just hold your finger and swipe up right there another feature I like is text messaging you can see exactly when you sent a text or anything like that so I want to go through one of the texts that uh, I did so uh, this is a great review this is talking about uh, my friend Pastor Keith about iOS 7 and the review so if I wanted to see what time he sent text replies I just scroll over to the middle because a lot of times I just swipe to, to the left and I see and text message or I message what time it was sent yesterday so I like that a lot thanks a lot hat tips hat tip to uh, Pastor Keith Goodman the third thing I like is iTunes radio when you go under music now you'll see a new thing here at the bottom playlist artists songs iTunes radio so if you go if I want to see an artist so I'm liking uh, let's see Bruno Mars or something like that or it's putting all the things that I have and all of the songs that I have and matching them up. So I just want to uh, go in here in iTunes Radio while it's doing that. And uh, you can actually create my new station and load it. And I can look at any kind of uh, station. So let's just go right here to Jazz real quick. And if I want to see, um, let's just say I like smooth jazz a lot. And I can see Joe Sample, and I can add that to my station right here. And there it is, Smooth Jazz Radio. And when I click on it, like Pandora, it will play. But I can fast forward it. I can buy it if I want information about this station. If I like hits, variety, of discover, uh, if I can share this station with friends. All right, so I really like that about uh, the new radio. All right. Last thing, uh, next to last thing is a new notification center. You see everything real quick here, how it is and how it comes up today, what I have going on. And then I said new teachers meeting I have at 315. Calendar looks clear. Then I have some stuff that I missed today, but it's just swiping up from the top. And then last but not least, I really like AirDrop. So I have some photos that I want to share. Or if I have something that I want to do, a oh, nice photo there. I want to look right here, this logo I want to send. And I want to share this logo. I'm just going to go up into AirDrop. You can't see it now because it just shows a photo full screen. But I can actually AirDrop and send this photo to someone else right who has an iPad or is enabled so airdrop is a big big feature um, just a sidebar I do like how photo streams are organized now um, in the photos so if we go here 
I can see all the stuff that was taken at my school. I can see collections and they're into moments. And then I can go up into years and it's more like a grid. And if I turn my phone that way, I can see it a lot better. And I can see my shared moments and things like that. So all of the stuff that I've had on the phone. So I do like that. So far, so good. And I think the iOS 7 is a really big, big departure from what Apple has been doing. There's some great apps like our Facebook app has changed and our Twitter app has changed in iOS 7. But it's for the better. I feel they move the stuff to the bottom. If you look, they move the stuff, all the notifications that used to be up top. So we're just getting those. And then um, if you want your news feed and everything like that. And Twitter, your, our Twitter has changed as well. So a lot of good iOS apps. So I just encourage you, iOS 7 apps, to download it and see what it's about and, uh, and go for it. So take care.